Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about another type of program design. This is a program design taught at Flow Shala. This is a no, low, medium, high intensity program design. Normally, when I teach, I teach, say, an A program design and a B program design. This is much more complicated than that, and this does not line up in a normal week schedule the same way. This goes no intensity, low intensity, medium intensity, high intensity. What does that mean? No intensity means no intensity. Your heart rate should not be high. You should not be exerting a large amount of force that day. Low intensity would be something more like active recovery, which could be yoga flows, things that are not super high in heart rate, not super intense. You should not be reduced to a drooling, sweaty mess on the low intensity day. Medium intensity is medium heart rate and medium weight load. And then of course, high intensity is the high heart rate where you're really going for it or high weight. Probably those two things tend to go together. So this is a simple wave. This has a built-in step-down phase every four days. A lot of athletes don't use this type of program because they are fitting their schedule into a seven-day week. And so they have high intensity on, say, Monday, Thursday, and then they might have medium intensity on Tuesday and Friday, and then active recovery on, say, like Wednesday and Saturday, which becomes an ABC program design. Think of this as an A, a, B, C, D program design. What makes this interesting is it doesn't fit in a week. If we started Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to Saturday, if we start this program, we have no, low, medium, high, and then it starts over. No, low, medium, and then the next week starts with high. High, no, low, medium, high, no, low, medium, high. So the weeks aren't the same they stagger. It's a built-in wave of intensity which repeats over and over and over again. This is a very interesting thing to get people to try to do because it forces them to think of outside of their normal work week scheduling and it lines them up in a different way which can provide a large amount of mental stimulation and engagement when attempting to do a program like this. This program also allows you to push really high on your high intensity day because there's a no and a low coming after that. Sometimes people will change the order of this and make the low intensity day after and they will change this to a say medium high low no medium high low. People will flip how they do this in several different ways, but we can talk about all of that in other videos. But I want you to know that this idea exists. This is an interesting problem to write programs for because you have that A, B, C, D program design in it. And think that you could either run your C and your D as the same idea at different intensities, or you can run them as two separate programs. I tend to run them as two separate programs, but that's because I'm that type of nerd. So I would run a C program as a club program because it is by its very nature, medium weight and medium levels of intensity on the heart. It's very hard to get your heart rate up super high with a two hand heavy club, because you simply can't hold on to enough weight to make your heart rate as high as it would be on say a kettlebell day. So I like to think about a high intensity day as being a kettlebell day. You can move the weight faster, it's easier to hold on to, it's more up and down, and it just works out with a much higher intensity. It's very easy to get your heart rate up to 90, 95, 100% with a kettlebell. It is harder to do that with a two-handed club because you'll probably rip yourself in half. So a club tends to work very well as that medium intensity day. You tend to be in the 70 to 85% heart rate. Most people aren't gonna be able to handle a two-handed club heavy enough to get themselves into an 85% heart rate. So it kind of builds itself into a simple program. Think no intensity days as being joint mobility. If you get beat up a lot, say you're some type of combat athlete, a stunt guy, a circus performer, then a no intensity day is a really good idea where you would spend 30 minutes to an hour just doing joint mobility and active recovery with no heart rate demand and no load demand. 
our low intensity day tends to be that build up back into a higher level of performance where you start building in complexity. I like to think of a low intensity day as being something like an animal flow day or a yoga flow day, vinyasa flow day. You can pick which either modality you want, it doesn't matter. But the main thing here is that low heart rate and low weight intensity. We can continue to talk about program design forever because everybody is doing different things in order to maximize different things. This strategy works out very well if you already have good skills for your high intensity day and you're able to really push on that day. This idea works out not so great if you're not coordinated and skilled with this high intensity workout. The way that some people got around that in the past is they made their medium and their high intensity day the same workout done at two different intensities. I can't get away with that idea working in my field, but it is a very good idea. You would think about your medium intensity day as you intentionally doing your high intensity day easy. So instead of going as fast as you can, you operate at 60%. And then on your high intensity day, you try to push into the 80% or higher range. Lots of ways to think about this, but let's just start introducing this idea of no, low, medium, and high intensity as taught by Flo Shala. And you guys ask questions, and then we will expand on the idea to help it make more sense to you. It's just another way to lay out program design, and there are a ton of them, and it's up to you to decide how much equipment you have, how much time you have, which format you're gonna use, and the more education you can get on the idea, the better choice you'll make, the better your program outcome will become.